One of our goals at Circuit Board Medics is to simplify the process of removal of the circuit boards we service. This video is showing the removal of the motor control unit, or MCU, from a Whirlpool Duet washer. This process will be similar for the comparable Kenmore and KitchenAid brand washers as well. For this removal, you will need a flathead screwdriver, wire snips, and a ratchet or driver with a 7mm or 932nd inch socket. Before beginning, be sure to unplug the washer from the wall to prevent electric shock. First, you will need to remove the front panel below the door of the washer. Using the socket, remove the three screws along the bottom edge. Then pull the panel off and place it out of the way. Next, we will detach a wiring track that runs along the bottom of the washer. This is not a necessary step, but does make access to the MCU easier. The track is held in place by two clips, one on each side. Squeeze the sides of the clip together to release it, then pull outward. Once you have both clips loose, you can fold the wiring track down out of the way. Your MCU has a flap that is secured to the side of the washer with a piece of double-sided foam tape. Using a flathead screwdriver and your fingers, gently pry the flap away from the washer until it is free. Using the wire snips, cut the zip tie that holds the wires to the back of the MCU. Be very careful not to damage the wires themselves, as this could obviously cause the washer not to function properly in the future. The wires also may run through a clip on the back edge of the MCU. If so, work them out of the clip with your fingers. Open the flap on the MCU to access the wiring connectors. The top connector has a small tab locking it into place. Squeeze the tab together to release and pull outward. The second connector has a different type of tab. Press it in to release it and pull the wire outward as well. The third connector does not have a tab. As shown here, carefully pry the upper edge of the connector out with your flathead screwdriver to loosen it, then pull the connector out with your fingers. Although our connector comes off easily in the video, yours may be very difficult to remove if it has never been disconnected before. The last connector has two flaps, one on each side. Carefully spread the flaps apart and pull the connector out. The MCU housing has four legs that are in slots in the bottom of the washer. The front leg on the right may or may not have a locking tab on it. If yours does, then use the flathead screwdriver to lift the tab up as shown here. Then grab the MCU and pull towards the front of the washer. Once it slides forward about half an inch, it will lift out of the base of the washer. Tilt the top of the MCU back and carefully work it out the front of the washer. There are two different versions of this MCU. The one you see here from our washer, and then the second is shown here. 
Your MCU is now ready to send to circuit board medics for testing or repair. Please call or visit our website to place your order or if you have any questions.